one and became the manager um, in the January of 94. So I've been here quite some considerable time now and seen many changes. And can you detail some of the changes? Um, the arrival of Lakeside, its impact on the local community and the shopping way we shop. Um, then we revived Grey Shopping Centre and replaced it as the local destination. Lakeside being the local regional centre, Grey's is for local people to come and shop on a daily basis. Um, it's a simple format and we've stuck to that and it works. It's a, it seems to be a, quite a high pressure job that you're in. Um, it does have its moments. High pressure at times would be an understatement. We have to deal with a cross section of dealings every day from first aid to police incidents, lost children, dealing with tenants to legal matters, so across the board spectrum for myself and the team here. And would you say it's you're learning all the time, so to speak? Uh, no two days are alike. We have to be on a continuous learning curve every day. The pressures put on us by ever-changing fundamental differences in health and safety, in IT procedures, law um, and we have to be aware of the changes in what shoppers want um, and be attuned to that and then we have to adapt our centre according to their needs. And would it be fair to say that the the shops and the, and the shoppers have changed from a multicultural point of view over the last few years? The demographics of this area have changed so dramatically over recent years from fundamental local East End style population to a multicultural centre here um, from East Europeans, Nepalese, Vietnamese, across the board uh, we have a new much more prominent African population so these changes mean that our shopping habits or the shoppers' habits have changed quite dramatically. And here in October 2008, what of the credit crunch and Grey Shopping Centre? The credit crunch has bitten in deeply, but here, because we cater for the local people and we address the local needs, the shoppers' base, people still need to go out and buy their basic needs, and that's what we cater for. The more upmarket needs we leave to our much more um, bigger competitors, i.e. the lakesides of this world. But for local basic needs, they aren't going to change. People still need the bread, milk, eggs to live every day. And that's what we cater for. And you, you as an individual, you, you're quite a focal point in the community, aren't you? You're often seen doing different things. Um, myself and my team here form the, the central point for the town and yeah we are perceived as um, place, a place to come to or people to come and speak to about a whole raft of problems um, and projects they want to get into from local people wanting to start their own businesses um, to local people on the Prince's Trust wanting to be children's entertainers across the board um, and we have to be ready to adapt and listen to what they've got to say and see the people joining the forest. Have you ever seen the forest? 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 Have you ever seen the Owners of the centre, Stockland, are very proactive in encouraging uh, new businesses to come to the centre and look for opportunities here. We don't just cater for the big mega mix of shops that are standard throughout the main run of shopping centres. They've, we've produced opportunities here for small independent tenants to get a foothold in the retail market. And they've prospered and done well here. 
Um, they've been supported by the local community and we see that as a, as a good proactive step to help the local community. And, and when you come down here during the day, is it so sort of, there could be 20 to 30 things you have to do when you, come, when you walk around? I have to be A, visible um, to my tenants who have day-to-day -day problems they want to ask me, also to the public who perceive us as the centre of the town and again they'll come up and talk to us about a whole raft of things and issues that they feel is important to them. This is their town, this is their shopping centre um, and we have a sense of duty and care to them and provide them a safe, comfortable environment to come during the day. Um, key issues that we spoke about earlier was that of integration of ethnic groups. We've got um, a large Polish community and we're pleased to say that in relation to that we've responded with the landlords and one of our newest tenants is here, Puex, who are a Polish supermarket and they cater for East Europeans only. Um, and we feel that's a step in the right direction to integrate these communities, uh, these groups into our communities. proud of here is that through the landlords, Stockton, we sponsor um, a youth boys football team, the Comets. They're all local lads all age 12 um, and we like to put something back into the community. We supplied them all their away kit for this year and we're pleased to say as the, the team, for the team, we're all going to the England football match at Wembley this coming Saturday. And we hope it will be a, a wonderful occasion for all these little lads to go and see their national team.